Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Reginald Gibson. I'm representing my website, ZoeLightSite.com. And I'd first like to give a personal shout out to all the people that have taken time out of their busy life to read up on a few posts. Um, you know, try to get some of that motivation, that inspiration. Uh, the, the larger goal is to be uh, transformed. So if you've taken your time to do that, once again, I want to give you my most gracious thank you. We really do appreciate that. Uh, today I'd like to talk on a few, you know, questions that were, that was emailed to me, excuse me. <clears throat> One was, hey Reg, uh, what's your day like? Now, that's actually a difficult topic for people to, you know, to accept. Because I tell them, hey, well, you know, I get up around 4 or 4.30, you know, basically every morning. Why? Because it gives me time to think. It gives me time to meditate. It gives me time to forgive you know, past incidents. For instance, it could be someone who believes that they're my enemy. If somebody is confused in that aspect, I wake up early and I thank God, first of all, for giving me this insight to be so forgiving and so loving. Some people waste their time with all this anger because they have this perceived image of other people. So just a quick shout out, if you're going through this or you know somebody that's going through it, don't waste your time. You know, true power is having the faith to forgive. The faith to forgive, say, your boss. The faith to forgive your spouse, your friend. One of the biggest things is having the courage and the faith to forgive yourself. So, like I said, I like to make these, you know, short. I want to give appreciation. I want to give thanks. I just want to give, you know, a thought of the day. But today is more about, you know, what is true power? You know, we think of true power, but truly... Do we understand what power is? Power is like a great river flowing. It's calm. It's peaceful at times. But in the case that it needs to speed up for environmental reasons, then so be it. But at any given time, if you was to take a cup and get a glass of that water, it's still power. How does this relate to your life? Maybe power isn't as grand or as big as you think it is, especially if it's in the wrong hands. Maybe power is having the strength, like I said earlier, to forgive someone, to love yourself, to ignore that embedded perception within your mind that you're not worthy. Why? Because of the auto-suggestions that are in the world. What is true power? Power is having the ability to wake up a little early every now and then so you can focus on past issues, current issues, things of the future. True power is learning to be humble and sacrificing yourself for the greater good. So, once again, another shout out. Thank you for taking time. Thank you for getting on our site, whether it's uh, YouTube, whether it's uh, my wife's fitness after triplets. Just thank you for that. You know, we're not out here saying, hey, click this link, click this link, sign up, follow me. That's not what this is about. Why? Because this is not a job. This is a purpose. This is a purpose of ministry. It's not, a, it's not for everybody. And, and there it is. That's why we can do this so humbly. This is not for everybody. You don't, you don't have to like us. It's just like a great book in the library. It's just sitting there waiting for you to come around if that's your purpose in life. If it's not, go ahead and find what you need to find. But until then, we're going to do our very best to offer free life coaching experience by way of the unfathomable wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Have a god bless day, and once again, please stay happy. Choose peace. We love you. Thank you.